So we've talked about Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer experience at a top level, and I'm looking forward to continuing the coverage here for the game further for you guys throughout the coming days to weeks leading up to this fall's launch. But today I want to take a bit more time and talk in depth about Modern Warfare 3's weapons, new equipment, perks, and more. So as we go along, drop your thoughts down below on what you think for what we've seen so far with Modern Warfare 3. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay today with all things Modern Warfare 3 and beyond here. Honestly, a really busy next couple of months for games overall and content here on the main channel and the second channel. If you'd like to join in on any of the live fun, links down below on Twitch or Kick. We'll be doing things like Warzone ranked in the grind to iridescent, along with other stuff. And of course, make sure you check out my friends over at G Fuel, which right now has a buy one, get one sale going on until I think next Wednesday, I believe. Great flavors including this one like Black on Blackberry, Shiny Splash, Hype Sauce, and more. All that linked below. But for now, let's take a look at what we learned recently going a bit more in depth. Let's start out with Weaponry because I feel like that's probably a big point of interest in regards to these subtopics. As a setup of the framing for this presentation, I'll touch on two categories here. Firstly, confirmed items that we saw in-game and Secondly, leaked items that we've seen so far. What I can't unfortunately comment here is the gameplay session that we had at Sledgehammer. They gave us a presentation about all the information that we could learn with multiplayer. They showed us campaign footage and stuff like that, but unfortunately I can't talk about my actual hands-on experience with multiplayer. Not to mention, I don't think I'd be able to remember too much in specifics out of that because we weren't able to record gameplay. And even for like note-taking purposes, even if I were allowed to talk about it, there were like six stations in a row and like three to four devs or Activision employees behind each row that if you went to even like answer a text, they were like, nah, phone's away. So there was really no way to even take notes on that if I was able to talk about it, that I don't think I'd be able to remember them all in perfect detail. But anyways, we saw weapons during our presentation of campaign, and we learned about a few missions here at this, but we saw actually two of them. The first was the mission seen in the reveal trailer for most of it. It's where the Kony group is going into the Gulag and extracts Makarov. And the other was 141 trying to get to the plane crash that will be the aftermath of the no Russian mission where Kony groups staging the crash site to make it look like an attack from Farah's army. In that, it's a stealth mission, but open world to illustrate both how in the reveal trailer mission, it's a standard campaign level, but also then the open world tech with that crash. So the first mission in the Gulag, we see the weapons of the Draker 556. I think I'm pronouncing that properly, but this one was full auto, looks similar to an ACR in build, but we'll touch on it in a second. I don't actually think it's the ACR, but the only thing that was really notable about this is that it, they had it equipped with the hybrid optic here at this, where it had a zoomed optic by default, but then you could tilt the gun and swap it to the side for the red dot like you can in Modern Warfare 2 and other games prior. We also saw the Scorpion Evo 4, which is a fast firing SMG, but not quite as fast firing as you may remember from, say, Black Ops 2, the one that really kind of made the waves here in the COD franchise as the Scorpion. But it was used for closer quarters engagements and still shred through ammo. We also saw the Castoff 7.62 on the ground, which is interesting because it makes it seem like we can have both Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 weapons in the campaign as well. We knew that that'd be the case for Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer, but for the campaign, kind of figured you'd only have Modern Warfare 3 weapons. But my assumption is that it's there for the open world aspect of the campaign, since you'll be able to build classes of your own, again, kind of like spec ops or raids to a degree. From this mission, that was the only stuff that was visible in regards to weaponry. Beyond that, we learned that the mounting mechanic was returning, but that's probably not a huge surprise. This mission was rather straightforward. It was an operator group in tight formation, didn't really leave each other's sides, didn't walk over a ton of dead enemies or into combat zones too much, so you didn't really see too much from weapons they'd walk over on the ground. In the past, we've seen that happen quite a few times. Now, the second mission, Crash Site, that unfortunately was more of a stealth mission here in Approach, so again, we are kind of weaving our way in and out of buildings and in fields, so there wasn't a whole ton of opportunity to end up seeing new weapons or weapons in general, but we did learn of a couple. We saw there were new weapons of the Bruin 45 ACP pistol. That was something that came along with a silencer on it or a suppressor, we saw what I think was named the Zyklov. I may have mistyped that in my notes while watching this through because it was only quite literally as a quick passover, but it was similar to the Castov 74U. Maybe Modern Warfare 3's spin on that to give us more AK weapons, but beyond that, we saw the returning weapons of the Lockman 556 and Castov 762 as additional ground weapons that you walked over. Now, of course, that's the stuff that we saw in official gameplay. Come later this week here, we are going to see a campaign mission given to 
us within opening night live at Gamescom. That's already been confirmed. So it's something that it may be the same cut of what we saw at the studio and maybe something that ends up giving us a slightly different version, in which case maybe we see more weapons. But that's the two missions we saw and the weapons that came along with that. However, beyond that, we learned of a lot of leaked weapons from a couple of weeks to now, maybe like a month or month and a half ago at this point. But we saw the assault rifles of the AK-556, CDG-58, Anvil B, MCW, MTZ-556, and the Holger, the battle rifles of the Bass B, the MTZ-762, the Sidewinder, the submachine guns, the Lock 9, WSP, the SAR-9, Striker-45, and the Rival-9, the snipers of the KVB-73, the KVS Terminus, as well as the AMR-50, and finally the pistol of the Rafika. And those were from leaked in-game screenshots, but recently there's another list that had come out, perhaps a bit fuller in nature, with a look at the weaponry. Coming from COD Warfare Forum on Twitter, these are apparently all from the game files. Some perhaps overlap with Modern Warfare 2 weaponry, though most don't appear to be. Some, though, already being weapons we talked about from those leaked images and what we already saw from the gameplay itself, just in dev name designation, like the ACR is the MCW from leaked images, the F2000 is the Anvil B from leaked images, but in total it seems like we'll have around maybe 39 weapons if my count's correct. Just for the sake of avoiding monotony, the names of which are all on screen here for you guys, so we're not listing off 39 different weapons here and taking a little more time out of the video. So we have a lot of weapons here that we already know about within Modern Warfare 3, and then you have to remember that on top of all of that, all weapons from Modern Warfare 2 are coming as well. So right now we have quite a hefty offering of weapons that we know will be coming here at launch for Modern Warfare 3. So let's move on a little bit to the next subtopic I want to talk about, that being new equipment and returning equipment as well. Again, we saw that there were some weapons coming from Modern Warfare 2. Same thing happens now with Modern Warfare 3. For the new equipment, though, we are firstly described the Breacher Drone, which is going to be something that deploys an explosive drone that has a radius base here too that. So I kind of imagine like what we see in Warzone to a degree, but it wasn't explicitly said if it was one to one. We'll see a new Mosquito drone, which is new to Modern Warfare 3, but we've seen something very similar here to this. It's an aerial zone denial drone. Just think of Hunter Killer drone. You throw it up in the air, it goes around, and then seeks and destroys an enemy. We also learned of the ACS spike, which is one that I'm very curious to see how this is going to work in gameplay balance, because it was detailed that it's equipment that will capture a point for you. So hard point, domination, if control comes back into Modern Warfare 3, that's something that is going to act as a player on an objective and it'll also hack equipment on said objective or in that sort of area where it was deployed. Now, one thing that I'm curious on, again, when it comes to balancing is how is this going to reward the player that uses it score-wise? Score streaks and kill streaks, I think, are rumored to be coming back here with Modern Warfare 3, sharing that same architecture of Modern Warfare 2, which is just simply a toggleable option. So if somebody has score streaks enabled, how much score will that give you not being on the objective, but capturing it versus actually being on it? Like if it's 100 points for domination, capture, do you get the full 100 points with the new ACS spike, or do you get like 25 to maybe 50? We'll have to wait and see how that all works out. We have the comm scrambler here. That's going to provide ghosts for an area for your team. We didn't see any footage of this or any demonstration of it, but it is something that I consider it to be similar to Reaper's Shroud from Black Ops 4, where it very well may give you a notification on the minimap if you're on the enemy squad, where if somebody places it, you'll know where in that area players could be, but maybe hidden, or if it's just something that will be undetected by radar at all. We don't quite know. Beyond that, we of course saw the returning features here. This stuff we actually saw within the open world mission. Again, I talked about how it seems like, at least in initial impressions, it seems like it's going to be something like Spec Ops or Raids, but for some campaign missions. For that, we of course had different classes and stuff on the leftmost icons, but on your HUD, we ended up seeing that there were shock sticks, spotter scopes, and a portable radar field upgrade. And of course, that's something that was only for that one mission very well could include a ton more that may be returning but from what we saw that's the stuff i can confirm but let's move on into a little bit about game modes here one that we touched on briefly that i'm very curious to see how this will work out in regards to the new offering is a new mode called cutthroat where it seems like it's going to be a sort of gunfight meets face off meets maybe champion hill i'm more so leaning towards the first two though but it's going to be a 3v3 v3 elimination round based game mode so again kind of sounds like gunfight kind of sounds like face off with the higher player counts but with also three teams so might be a 
fun little mode here for those that did enjoy gunfight, but ups the stakes a little bit. We, of course, have those classic modes of hardpoint, kill confirmed, TDM, domination, search, and all. This is going to be the first time we see a lot of these game modes on those classic maps. I mentioned it in the video the other day where things like Afghan hardpoint were never around in the original Modern Warfare 2. Afghan kill confirmed, skid row kill confirmed, that kind of stuff was not actually in the 2009 version. So to be able to play this now with more updated game modes will definitely be fun, I think. And hopefully the pacing and the spawns and everything work out well, but we'll have to wait and see how that all works out in time. Confirmed with the reveal as well is the introduction again of Invasion, something that was introduced within Modern Warfare 2. We know Ground War and we know War is going to be coming back in Modern Warfare 3. But the big question a lot of players had was, will Invasion come? Because of course, utilizing AI kind of a way to be able to just grind out weapons. So players had that question on if it would return. There really was no answer until officially someone from a studio stepped in and said, no, it's, it's going to be there. So we should see all that kind of stuff. And of course, then in live season, it's been detailed that we'll have air quote, tons of new modes across the war experience, party modes, objective modes, and more. Then finally, the last thing I'm going to touch on here is a little bit of a mention on perks because we didn't get a whole ton of information on perks, but we did get some. Firstly, we do know, officially speaking, that perks are itemized as gear. Some of the itemization coming in the way of gloves, boots, and other gear. But it was further expanded upon where perks will be available at the start of each match by Call of Duty themselves with the reveal. They also detailed a little bit about two perks in particular, where it was called the Covert Sneakers, or a perk that will allow for silent movement. Sneakers probably going into that boots category, and then an unnamed perk which will allow for ADS while sliding. That was something that came from our briefing with Sledgehammer out in San Francisco. So that is some information on perks. But again, that kind of stuff I think will be expanded upon much closer to the multiplayer reveal and then beta by extension. So for that, that's everything we learned about things like weaponry, equipment, new modes, as well as perks, and is continuing on a little bit further of diving deeper into what we learned about multiplayer as a whole. So that is what we're going to call it. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of this here? Do you like the sound of these weapons, perks, equipment, modes? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. And if there's anything you'd like to learn more about Modern Warfare 3, feel free to let me know down in the comments. But if you guys enjoyed the video, you found it all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay there with all things Modern Warfare 3. X Defy is still here, coming up on maybe what will be a launch soon, as well as other stuff here on the channel. Looking forward to keeping you guys in the loop with all that. But if you'd like to subscribe, love to have in the community. For now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.